Alright, all my Detroit Piston fans and all my Detroit fans, all my Motor City Sports Talk fans, make sure you guys go check out Piston Mike. We got him over 100 followers, so make sure you check him out. Everything Pistons, man, he gonna hold it down and do his thing just strictly on the Pistons thing. You know, I got the lines of Pistons, but man, we always trying to help people get their channel up. Let's get him to 200 next, 300 next, 400 next, 500 next, and let's get him all the way to a rack so he can start making that bag. Appreciate you guys. Make sure you go over to Piston Mike as you see it on the screen. Let's get him to 200, then 300, then 400, then 500, and the whole shebang. Peace. All right, TJ Hawkinson, I gave a huge shout out to your boy, Yank Guy, Jared Goff. Let's talk about it. Appreciate that. Appreciate the love and support. Uploading the video right now about Jared Goff saying Anthony Lynn and Dan Campbell have inspired him. So, work with your boy. All right, I ain't this type of expert neither. Even though we had Mavis Beacon in school, we supposed to be, we supposed to be the creme de la creme typers. But, um, but yeah, you know, TJ Hawkinson. Was on Good Morning America, Good Morning Football. I don't watch it no more. Good Morning Football because it's turned into a feminine show. It's 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 really really a fe an estrogen show. You know, all them two. I don't have no issue with uh the woman that's on there or Nate Burleson love them, but the other two guys make it moist. Make it when you are talking about a National Football League, you talking about masculinity. You talking about you want to have some type of rugged edge type of show. Excuse me. That's what you want to have. And really, you know, honestly, man, it's just to the point where... Yeah, it just, it ain't, I don't like watching it. But it says, while a different line regime selected T.J. Hawkinson with the eighth pick in the 19 draft, 2019 draft, the tight end is still fi and still figures to be a cornerstone of Detroit Lions office 2021. But someone new is throwing him passes this year in Jared Goff during the appearance of the NFL No Worse of the Morning Football on Tuesday, Hawkinson spoke highly of his new starting quarterback, quote, Jerry, my dog. He a great guy. Hawkinson said, I threw him a couple, I, I threw him a couple of times this offseason out in L.A., and that guy just has a different mentality. I've been excited to have him, uh, to have him uh, see him, see the throws he made in 707, see what kind of person he is, how to see the game, how he sees the game. There's nothing like it. I'm really excited to have him. As my quarterback, the reads that he made, the reads that he's done have been special, and I know the guy is ready to go. He really, really, he really is. Okay, Golf also has also received rave reviews from Detroit Lions coaching staff with Dan Campbell saying last week that the quarterback has made several wild throws in practice. I mean, uh, remember we used to hear that from uh, Matthew Stafford. Like I said before, I've been around the block long enough to know. Until I see it, until they get into them pads on Sunday, until I see it, I don't believe it. I'm just keeping it 100. So I hope it's true. I hope Jared Goff going to take us to the Super Bowl. I hope he's going to take us to the Super Bowl and Mo. But ultimately, man, we we gonna have we, we got to see this thing. We got to see it, believe it, become it. And um, honestly, man, I hope I hope that that. Sean McVay office just wanted to fit for him. And from the other video, I said they, he said it's they Taylor making the offense, Taylor making the offense for him. And that's what I like to see. And if that's the case where they Taylor making the offense for him, like I said, it should be no excuses. But the one thing that Jared Goff wasn't the major thing in Sean McVay offense was just that they didn't throw to the tight end a lot. They have some talent in Higsby. Uh, was it Everett? They have some talent. You just wonder to yourself why why they didn't throw it to him more. And Sean McVay offense is based off play action. What other normally what other big target? What other big target? You know, usually is out there that you know that can't make play. You know, you just understand there's some limitations to Sean McVay offense, man. I can't say personally that Sean McVay offense look limited like the same shit over and over again. You run the ball, run the ball, success, you keep running it. If you don't have much success running the ball, my bad. I had a call, but like I said before, man, I just think it's at the point where, you know, you got to show me. You know, they can give all the rave reviews and how you looked in, throwing the ball, but until somebody takes your ass trying to decapitate you, we really can't say how good you will do. Some some quarterbacks look like the real deal. They're like the real deal Holyfield, you know, seven on sevens with no pressure. But you line up, put a, a, a true 11 in front of him, put a true front four in front of him. Um, 
you know, then they act different. Like, like I caution, I caution people to, to, to just don't, don't buy, don't buy the advertisement. Wait till they play the San Francisco 49ers week one at the fourth field. And uh, we can wait then and then we have our opinions. But ain't no being no optimist with the Detroit Lions. I was optimistic for the first 20 plus years of my life. You know, it really ain't no optimism. You you cheer with caution. That's what it is. But, you know, Hawkinson got to say these things. You know what I'm saying? They saying they got to say these things to, to, to get people excited. To, this is the season of optimism. In football, in the NFL, every college football team right now, fan base think they could win a national championship. But in reality, it's not the truth. You know, and um, you know, I just want to take a wait and see approach. If Aaron Rodgers leaves, that's great. But I caution you to get your hopes, you know, get your hopes back to reality because this team has historically let us down. Hopefully, things will change with Brad Holmes. Things will change with Dan Campbell, Aaron Glenn, Anthony Lynn. Do stay. We hope that. But right now, they in t shirts and shorts. When they put them big boy pads on, week one, when somebody can literally, they take the red jersey, take the, the, take the jersey that, that tell you not to hit Jared Goff, and they get out there and play, the answers are going to come. The first 20 plus, 20 plays, 10 plays are scripted. This is what they like to do. We're going to do this. After that, play 21, play 25, 30. Because if they can't run the ball and Jared Goff show without a running game, he can be that nigga, be that guy. We, I'm telling you, that's gonna be something to look forward to. But we we'll see, man. We we'll see. I just, I'm hoping that you know Sean McVay held him back. And I, I don't look at the offense. That's why I started off at when I paused the video. Run, 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 run. If it worked, then pass. And then once you kind of stop the run, if they go post corner. You know, off the play action the first time, they're gonna act like going to the corner. They're gonna act like they're going to the to the uh to the when I say post corner, they're gonna act like they're going to the post again. Let's just say they go to the post. Then in the next play, you know, they act like they go to the post, then they go to the corner. That's what the offense is. The offense is, is it seemed like a ten page offense <laughs> with eighty percent running plays and other plays, you know, it's just it's just a little just a little 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 differential, little differentials right there. They play action and they they dragging, they they doing a shallow cross, then they're gonna act like they go into the cross and come back to the boundary. It's not really hard, but hey, um, let me know what you guys think about what Hawkinson said about Jared Goff. Will he make us miss Stafford? Will he make us say, yeah, they traded Stafford or not? Don't forget to check out Detroit Line Talk playlist. Don't forget me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You can reach out. If you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, video quest, all my social media links are description. Twitter's the fastest way, then Facebook and Instagram. All my social media links in the description. Want to make a donation? Cash app, CJ Good 313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Mess with the donate. Share, share the video. Let me know what you guys think about the video. Other than that, don't forget to check my main channel out right here on YouTube. Good Fellow Sports TV for more sports news, news, and entertainment. One time for one time. Peace.